Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today for Vlogmas Day 10, we are doing this really bright makeup look um, using the ColourPop Rendezvous palette. It's this palette right here. It looks really pretty. And of course, whenever I got the palette, this color just stood out so much to me. So I was like, I gotta do a look and try, well, try to do a look using just that color because it's so bright and it's just like such a dramatic pop of color that I don't ever really do. Not this kind of color. I'll do pinks, purples, things like that, but blues are kind of hard. So I was like, you know what, just do it. Just go for it, see what happens. And this is what I got from it. So if you want to see how I got this look, just keep watching. So for today's video, I'm using the Rendezvous palette from ColourPop. It's really pretty colors. And I'm going to be using the color Release, which is this really pretty, bright, turquoise, shimmery color right here. It's going to be my main focus, basically. First, I feel like I'm going to take a little bit of this color called Style and Grace, which is like a nice, mauve light-toned color. Like this right here. Put that in my crease. Very lightly. Just to kind of give that some warmth and something to blend into, but not too much. So it kind of just brings a little bit of warmth, adds something, you know, just to kind of transition to in that crease. And now I think first I'm gonna just try and um, use my finger to apply this bright blue turquoise color. It was like the main color that I saw whenever I saw this palette because it's just so bright and different. Um, I thought it'd be a nice look a little bit something different for the holidays or any, you know, whenever you're going out at all. Ooh, that's really pigmented. And I'm kind of just putting it, you know, just packing it on with my finger, which seems to be a really great way to get that pigment to really pop. I don't know how it would work with, you know, a brush, but your finger is just fine. So if you don't even have a brush, it's all good. This blends out great. And then I'm just gonna take a clean blending brush and kind of blend that out into the crease. I'm gonna take a little bit of that, um, what is it called? Style and Grace transition color that we use and kind of just pop that on top in that outer edge right here. Not really towards the center at all, more just like the outer edge, kind of blend any leftover blue. This is so bright. I don't think I've ever done a look with a color this bright and loud. <laughs> Cause this is, this is a very, this is not subtle at all. And now we're gonna deepen it up with this black color. It's called Let's Do It. It looks black, but I feel like it's kind of like, has, has another tone in there. I don't know, but I feel like it's just black. But we're just gonna lightly you know, add it on because I don't want it to look black. I want it to kind of just deepen the blue on the outer edge right here. So just adding it right there. I'm gonna take that blending brush and blend it out. See, so it doesn't really look black. It looks more of like a deeper blue, which is what I want. You don't always have to use black just to be black can just use it to deepen some colors up and add a little bit more depth. So that looks way better. I'm just using this fluffy pointed pencil brush. It's the M321. And I like it because it's a little bit fluffy. So it's not just like a regular pencil brush, super dense. It's got a little bit of movement to it and flexibility. So it adds pigment or it adds color lightly instead of, you know, just pressing down hard on it. I just say that doing my makeup like this, I usually have like a bigger mirror, but today I'm using uh, my little compact. Um, and it's not as hard as I thought it was gonna be. It's a little bit easier. It's so crazy, I'm not used to this kind of color. I, I love it in the pan and it looks really pretty on the lid as well. It's just so different. Definitely not a type of color I would use <laughs> every day. And I know I do some like dramatic looks, but most of the time they're neutral. They're never really colorful. So this is definitely out of my comfort zone, even for me. 
So now I'm gonna take an actual blending brush and I'm gonna just dip it into that uh, release color. And we're gonna pack it on on that lower lid. And I'm just kind of flicking it up to really connect it and make it look even more catty with that top lid. I feel like I'm getting mermaid vibes from this, but not really because I feel, I don't know, like when you, when I see mermaid looks, they're always, you know, purpley, pink, light blue, not like this teal color, teal turquoise color, whatever you want to call it. But this is super pigmented, let me tell you that. Like, good job, ColourPop. This color is so nice. It blends like you wouldn't believe. Going for that like a very editorial look. So I feel like that's the only time you see these kind of looks. And I'm really trying to just kind of create that cat eye look a little bit more. So I'm just taking my pencil brush and kind of creating more of a V shape down here. And then blending it so it's not too sharp. I wonder what my mom and dad are gonna say when they see my eyes like this. My dad's probably gonna make some kind of funny joke because he don't know, he can't pass up an opportunity to joke on someone. All right, and then now to just brighten up that inner corner, I think I'm gonna go ahead and use the color My Treat, which is this pretty like light pearl type color. Mm -hmm. That looks nice. I was, it was between that one and this other like gold champagne type color, but I thought that this one would work better. And now I can dust off this powder. So now to kind of just make sure my um, lashes kind of look nice and thick because of all this color. I am going to deepen it up right here at the lash line uh, with some Makeup Forever Artist Liner in... Black. It's just the black one. Doesn't matter. So I'm just going to put it right here just to kind of help the lashes look a little bit fuller since this look is so intense but I don't want to really put like a wing liner or any other liner. I'm just adding this to make the lashes look a little fuller. And then to just kind of, you know, blend it out, make it less precise, I'm just going to take this little detailed brush from Morphe and just smudge it around. Okay, so I just really quickly put on some mascara. Um, nothing special. It was the Milk Kush mascara, I think. Yeah, pretty sure it was that. So now I'm just going to do my lips and then I'm going to do the rest of my face. Which is usually backwards from how I do it, but... Oh well. So now we're using the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Lip Pencil in Naked 2. I wanted a more pink one, but I couldn't find it, so... I'm just lightly lining it because I don't want my lips to be too... pigmented or too showy. And then I'm gonna be using Native Lipstick from Urban Decay as well. So, you know, just a light little top of it because I don't want it too pigmented. I want all the focus just to really be on my eyes. So, now moving on. I'm going to be using the Fenty Beauty How Many Carrots Diamond Balm. I love this highlighter. Um, it looks goldish yellow, but that's because it gets, like, stained. But it's really, like, this really pretty, just, like, wet-looking highlighter that I love. And that's what I'm going to be putting on the tops of my cheeks right here. I don't need too much, like I said. I don't I don't want like a whole bunch of stuff going on my face. I want it just right here. It's a little bit, just a little glow to complement the eyes. All right, and then for my blush, I'm gonna be using the Morphe 8W Warm Master Palette. Love these shades, it's like my go-to blush palette right now. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and take a little bit of sweet and then a little bit of unapologetic because it's a little bit more warm tone, more neutral. And just kind of give my cheeks a little bit of color, just a little bit of warmth, not too much because again, focus is on here. Don't want anything overpowering on my face. I'm just trying to really lightly put it on. All right guys, so this is the finished look. I popped on some lashes really quick. They're just the Ardell Demi Wispy lashes, I believe. They're my favorite kind. But yeah, just pop them on, just kind of give me a little something there. Yeah, this is a super fun look, um, definitely different from all my other looks. And if you like this video, remember to hit like and subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys next time in the next Vlogmas Day. No.
in the next vlogmas video so i'll see you guys later